Hello, everybody. Mom? What, Romy? What do you need me for? Wait, That's what I thought. Hey, everybody. Hello. Look at our map. It's getting filled with little tacks of all the states. Hey, hey. Let me flip you around. Hello, hello, hello. Let me fix my little fedora. Hey, girl. From Charlotte. How you doing? All right. How's everyone doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm a little tired, though. Just got back from the pool. I was, um, it's a hot day here. Really hot day. And, um... My friend said, hey, want to come to the pool and hang out? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? And by the way, my brother and sister made fun of me for this hat, but I liked it. And so I said, I'm going to wear me a cute little fedora. I know it's hard to see on this lighting and everything, but it's a very cute hat. Um, so yeah, so it was really hot and steamy here today. And um, I decided that I needed to cool down. So I took Romy to the pool. And her little boyfriend, Cody Man, was there. My buddy Dylan was there. And we all hung out at the pool all afternoon, got a little bit of sun, cooled down. It was very nice. It was very, very nice. How are you all doing today? Everyone good? It's hot out there. I know, it's summertime. Ooh, it's killing me. I don't know about you guys, but it's killing me. I have had some busy days. I don't know if you guys saw the Google Hangout yesterday. But I was, well, I was drunk. <laughs> I was incredibly intoxicated. And um, as, as it went on, I only got more and more so, which was a mess. Um, so yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so I was at the pool yesterday. I was at the pool today. Uh, what was I drinking? I was drinking, um, I was, I was drinking some beer, was having some Rolling Rock, and then I also was drinking, um, pina coladas, because my friends have, like, one of those Margaritaville margarita machines, but we were making pina coladas instead, and it was, um, it was pretty great. It was a pretty great day yesterday, and what I love is, so, the friends that we were hanging out with yesterday are our friends from Argentina, and so... The husband, Charlie, loves to cook. Like, loves it. And he loves to go outside and cook, like, over an open flame. And he has, like, I'm not even joking. He has, like, five different types of barbecue grills in his house. Um, he has, like, this really big giant one where they roast entire pigs. And then he has, like, a stovetop grill that he uses. And then he has, like, a regular grill. I mean, it's crazy. He's got just all kinds of stuff. So, uh, we went over there and he cooked us, you know, like the typical burgers and we had sweet potato fries that he actually fried right there on his grill. It was amazing. Um, and then we had, he made us these like amazing chicken wings that were to die for. Uh, so yeah, so he was cooking for us and then they had, um, the amazing, uh, pina coladas happening and then we were in the pool. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and I really love hanging out with them. So they're, they're just a great couple. Like they're super cute, super in love. They just, they're like the quintessential perfect heterosexual couple. I just adore them. Uh, so anyway, so that's what we did yesterday. And then I got drunk and then Iris got drunk. I don't know what was going on with Iris last night, but she was getting frisky. And I always know when she starts getting all gropey and frisky that she's had too much to drink. Yeah, that was Iris last night at our friend's house. And I don't know why she was drinking so much. I mean, there's been a little bit of stress in, in her life, um, you know, with the whole uh, her gym is imploding, essentially. Uh, and she's been stressed out about it and freaked out about it and, like, losing her mind. So, I mean, I kind of get it, but I'm like, lady, calm down. Just calm down with your crazy self. So, uh, yesterday was crazy. We got home late last night, woke up early this morning. Um, Iris went to the like 545 workout class and then came home and then left again to go teach the nine o'clock class at the gym. She was running like a crazy person. And then my friend Jeff said, Hey, let's go to the pool today. So I said, yes, I will. I will go to the pool today. Absolutely. I was supposed to have a business uh, call today. 
that did not happen or has not been scheduled yet. Uh, last time I checked, I should probably check again. Um, but uh, so I've been waiting for that to happen. Probably it's going to happen tomorrow, realistically. I've also been uh, waiting for an important call uh, from Derek with some information that I cannot wait to get. Uh, and so I've been just busy. I've been busy. And, it's, and like yesterday at my friend's house, I felt so bad. So I went over to their house to hang out. And then I'm taking all these different calls that were very important calls that I had to take uh, while I'm there. I had to do the, the the Google Hangout from my friend's house. And I'm like, oh my God, my friends are going to just think I'm the biggest asshole ever. Because I'm like, I'm so busy. Like, I don't know the last time I was this busy. It's crazy. Who knew unemployment was so busy? But it kind of is. I mean, today was kind of lazy. I'm not going to lie. Today was pretty lazy. But even then, when I was sitting by the pool, I'm, you know, I'm texting these important text messages and sending messages to other people. And my friend's like, I've never seen you work this hard. Are you, what is going on with you? <laughs> and I'll just say, um, I have a lot of pokers in the fire right now uh, with some side projects that I'm working on, not related to Derek and Romaine. And um, so... It's keeping me a little busier than normal. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you tried emailing me, and it was rejected from Mailbox Full. Uh, I don't know why that would be. I don't think my mailbox is full. Romaine Patterson at Gmail. Are you sure you're spelling it right? Um, that is the right uh, That is the right one. And I do believe I saw an email about that very subject that you were talking about. Sorry, I know not all of you guys can see the uh, little doodads that they pop up. So, anywho, busy, busy. That's what I've been. So, I feel really bad for Iris. You know, this gym thing is really upsetting to her. And not just to her, but to all of her little gym buddies. So, you know I call them a cult because I think they're all a bunch of wackadoodles. Uh, no, not Romaine33 at Gmail. Romaine Patterson at Gmail, MKW. Um, anyway, I feel really bad for it because, uh, it's just been, it's just been really stressful and, you know, she really, really cares about these people that she works out with and, and she really cares about their health and their fitness, which is why, you know, she wanted to get certified to be a CrossFit coach. And, um, so yeah, so, you know, I feel really bad for her. I mean, I really, you know, I don't know what to do for her, um, it sucks. It kind of really blows because, you know, when, when Iris first started doing CrossFit, she was convinced to do it by a friend of ours named Tisa, who's like a health nut. We love her. She's just, she's crazy. Um, and she was like recruiting all of her friends to go and start at this brand new gym that had just opened. And, you know, Iris got in as one of the founding members of this gym. And, um, in the two years that it's been open, I have seen the most incredible transformation in Iris and not just physically. I mean, yes, she's lost a ton of weight and yes, she looks amazing. Um, her body is rocking, but more than that, I've seen an emotional change in Iris that has been like night and day. I mean, really night and day. It's crazy. She went from just being someone who I think was kind of depressed and just not really happy and didn't feel like she, um, almost like she didn't belong anywhere. You know, she went from being in the military where she was, she very much felt like she was a part of a team to being in civilian life. And that element was always lacking. So when she got to this gym, I think she got that sense back. She got that sense of community, um, that sense of we're all in this together, we're all working together. And it, it really meant a lot to her. And so, um, you know, the, all of a sudden one day be told, yeah, it's not happening anymore. It's pretty, pretty devastating to her. So I've been, I've been trying to be a good supportive wife and we all know that I suck at it, especially because I, you know, I don't really get it. I mean, look at me. Do I look like someone who understands a lot about fitness? Yeah, not so much. Uh, but I do know that she really, she really cares about this. So it kind of sucks. Um, and I don't want her to feel like she has to go back to that place of not feeling like she fits in. And, and you know, and I think that, you know, something like a gym is a very personal thing because um, you don't want to go in and feel judged by the people who are there. And you don't want to go in and feel like it's a really competitive environment. And you don't want to go in and have like creepy lurkers like gawking at you while you're working out. You guys know what I'm talking about, especially you homos. And... Um, 
so yeah, so it's it's a it's a really tough situation for her, and I'm trying to be supportive, and I'm trying to, um, you know, I'm just trying I'm trying to be the best wife I can in this situation, but it really blows. So you know, originally I told her I said, listen, we'll buy you some workout equipment you can put in our rec room, and you can work out there. And I don't think that idea is dead, um, but I think some. Um, some other ideas are at play that uh, maybe will fix this situation for her. I don't know. Uh, your gym has a steam room lurker, so you know exactly what I'm talking about, Duke. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm just a little worried about Iris because she's kind of gone through a tough thing and ugh, it just sucks. So anyway, so I've been working on some stuff with her on that and trying to help her navigate through all of that stuff. Has she ever thought of managing a gym instead of a theater? Uh, I don't know that she has, but um, I think it would be awesome if she did. I don't know if it pays well or not. Um, I mean, this gym that she's been going to is a pretty small gym. I think they only had like 50 members or something. It was it was small, but, um, you know, a great gym. I mean, the people who go there love it. Um, and I think that for women in particular, it's a little bit harder to find a good gym. I don't know if, that, if I'm wrong about that, but... Um, I think for women it's a little bit more challenging because there's not a lot that a caters to women, but also that makes women feel comfortable. Because that's a big thing. It's like I was talking to a friend of mine, and she's like, "There's like drop-in places that you can go, but like, let's say you drop in and there's only one guy there or two guys there. Is a woman really gonna feel comfortable going in there and there only being two guys in the building? I sure shit wouldn't. So you know, I think trying to find the right gym for her is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? I have no idea. But we'll see. Oh, poor Iris. Speaking of, she just got home. Okay, so what else I want to talk to you guys about today? Other than my time at the pool. Um, so I've still been researching uh, studio equipment. My God, so much has changed since I was in school. I mean, I wasn't in school that long ago. That's the crazy thing. So um, I went to a school... Uh, Mark, I will, I will, I will, I will touch on that subject in a minute. Um, so I went to school for recording engineering in Tempe, Arizona, back in like 2001-ish, and um, just a couple of years before I started at SiriusXM, and I loved it. I, you know, I'm such a nerd, and I'm such a geek when it comes to all this stuff, and uh, I love it. I really do. I mean, legit. I fucking love it. And when I first started at Sirius XM, I really thought there would be an opportunity for me to get to use some of those skills. You know, I was, you know, I was looking forward to like running the board. Um, I was looking forward to doing some editing and things like that. And then because my position required so much on air stuff and because it was so much about producing um, and booking guests and things like that in the early days, um, it just never got to where I could actually do a lot of that stuff. Um, and I, you know, so I, I kind of worked more as a producer than um, as kind of an audio person that I, and that was okay, but, you know, I would have loved to have done it. I learned how to run the boards in the studio, um, but ultimately what we found is it was just easier to let a board op do it, um, especially when, because we had a lot of guests coming and going, and it got very hard to run the board, you know, properly say hello and goodbye to guests when you're a host. You know, it's one thing uh, when you're Howard Stern and you take, you know, 10 minute breaks before a big guest comes in and you can actually, you know, step away from the board and say that. But on our, our channel, we only had very, very short breaks. So it made it really hard to do. Um, but I always loved it. And I always wish I could have done more of that while I was at uh, Sirius. So now that I'm kind of, you know, looking at the future and trying to decide, you know, where it's going to be, I'm kind of excited about the idea of setting up a small studio um, and getting to work. Like I kind of, I can't wait to kind of start fucking around with stuff and um, playing with music and, and playing with um, new, new ways of doing some things. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, but it, it's so fucking expensive oh my god that's the crazy thing um because you know I like nice things I'm not gonna lie I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't like nice things because I do I mean I drive a hot red Chevy Camaro for a reason because I like nice things and when it comes to gear I mean I'm kind of a gear snob I'm not gonna lie it's Kind of true. Is that an Apple Watch? Yes, it is. My wife gave it to me. She won it from work. I love it. Um, 
So, uh, you know, I've been looking at this gear and I'm like, oh my God, it's so expensive because everything's digital now. Um, and it's oh, crazy, especially because as I research what I would want in my like dream studio, I have a very expensive taste. <laughs> and by the way, I'm unemployed. So those two things don't really go hand in hand yet. Um, so yeah. I mean, I might have to like buy middle road stuff and then work my way up piece by piece until I get to um, to where I want to be, but we'll see. I don't know. I might just start with like a really good uh, Mac and some great audio editing software and, you know, a shitty console and go from there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> but I am looking and I am getting... Um, I'm getting very excited about uh, what the future holds and some of the possibilities. You know, Derek and I, we really don't know if um, we're going to go kind of a traditional radio route or if we're going to do something more in the podcast pa podcast realm. Um, not really sure yet, but, you know, we've been exploring all the options. We've been talking to people in, you know, kind of both, both sides of that debate. And uh, it's kind of an interesting landscape out there right now because I feel like so much is changing, you know. Um, when we first started radio, terrestrial radio was the thing. No one had even heard of satellite radio. And now, you know, satellite radio is kind of the thing. Nobody gives a shit about terrestrial radio. It's there, but it's not like it once was. Um, but now what's happening is, is Wi-Fi and things like that are introduced into people's cars, um, where people used to make fun of podcasts and say, oh, these aren't real radio shows. A lot more talent, um, is going into the, into the online streaming realm because a you have the same kind of freedoms you do with satellite radio in terms of um just you know ability to say the things that are actually on your mind without having to censor yourself um the way you do with a lot of um other regulations but also um you know people listen to audio differently now it's not like um before you know people can take their their radio with them anywhere. You can listen to it at work. You can listen to it in your phone. You can listen to it in your car. I mean, there's all these new ways to listen to your shows. Um, so I think podcasting really has some interesting opportunities. And, uh, and I think Derek thinks so too. I mean, it's, it's been fun kind of learning more about it. Um, cause Derek and I were born in satellite radio. It's all we've ever really known in terms of being radio hosts. And, um, while I love satellite radio, uh, you know, I do feel like, um, you know, in some ways it was limiting. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to see what, um, opportunities this is going to bring about and where we're going to end up. Of course, we don't know yet. So don't ask me because I can't tell you, uh, someone asked a minute ago, um, what the big announcement was. And I can tell you the big announcement was that we are definitely doing an Alaska cruise in 2016. I know a lot of people were worried we weren't going to do it, even though we said originally we were, um, and we picked a date. The date of the Alaska cruise will be, um, the last week of August. Oh God, see now I already, I've already forgotten and I don't have my computer in front of me. Hold on. I'll get you the exact date. Cause Derek's going to be like, you dumb bitch. Uh, you forgot already. How could that even happen? I don't even know. Blah, blah. And he's going to yell at me. So give me two seconds and I'll tell you the exact dates. Cause I'll be able to see it. Um, I believe it's the 28th through September 4th of August. So, oh, see, you guys are faster than I am. You already know. See, you guys are better than me at promoting my own shit. How is that even possible? <laughs> I just couldn't remember. Um, so, yeah, so August 8th, 28th through September 4th um, is the date. Uh, we picked that date on purpose. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I wish you could do it a week earlier or something like that. Two reasons why we picked that week. One, um, it was actually the cheapest week during the height of good Alaska cruising season, which is typically um, July and August. And also, the other reason is because um, of the big the big holiday weekend that that um, backs up against. Um, we knew a lot of people would already be on vacation, and we thought if people are going to be on vacation; they should be on our vacation. Um, so that's why we picked those two that 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 particular time window. And we hope that. Um, Many of our listeners, uh, if not all of you out there, will join us. Uh, you know, this may be the last one. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna bullshit you. Um, if we don't have a job and we aren't doing something, then I can guarantee you this: the Alaska cruise will be the last one. Um, if we have another show and and the show is doing well, then it probably won't. But 
If you've always wanted to go on one and you've been unsure, I would definitely sign up uh, for Alaska. It's an expensive cruise, but I'm going to tell you right now, of all the cruises I've done, and I've now done like, I don't know, five or six of them, it is the one cruise I would do multiple times because it is the most beautiful thing. I mean, there are just you just see the most beautiful things, and you see all this amazing wildlife. Um, it's pretty incredible, and I am not bullshitting you. It is absolutely stunning. So I, I highly recommend uh, doing this cruise with us. So there, that's about the cruise. So uh, I guess I should do... Um, the what's in my box, because when can we do a deposit on Alaska? You can actually do one right away. Uh, Derek and Romaine, uh, DNR show at Gmail is the email address. DNR show at Gmail. Um, there's also, if you've never done a cruise with us and you've never filled out our cruise form, there's a cruise form on the DerekandRomaine.com website that you can fill out and that will send over to us. Um, and then either Derek or myself will get back to you. And we'll set it up and you can tell us what kind of cabin you want and we'll get you all booked up and uh, you can put your deposit down uh, as soon as possible. So I'm going to actually, I haven't put my deposit down yet, but I'm going to be doing it probably tomorrow. Uh, I should have done it today, but I got busy hanging out at the pool. So, okay. Oh, let me reach over here. What's in my box? What indeed? So I guess the first thing I should show you, even though I have this amazing wonderful stunning even uh i swear you don't blink for like minutes at a time makes me laugh really i guess i never noticed i thought i blinked a lot okay um so i got this hat this amazingly disney hat now if i had to guess i'm going to guess that this incredible goofy hat this is goofy right I think it's Goofy. It looks like Goofy. I'm going to guess that this came from Trucker Giddy. If I had to guess, because she she believes that I need to have like a silly hat wall to choose from uh, while I'm talking to you bitches. So, here you go. Enjoy. I'm sure there's screen grabs already happening. And that you bitches will take every opportunity to embarrass me that you get. Today at the mailbox from what's in my box. I'm just going to tell you, holy fucking shit. <laughs> because honestly, I don't know that I've ever received so much mail in my life. And most of it is for Romy, but, um, I, I, I'm almost, I am almost embarrassed, uh, by how much mail I get. <laughs> and I know the lady who works at the post office is thinking, who the fuck is this lady, and why is she getting so much mail? I can guarantee you that nobody at my post office, my little hole-in-the-wall post office, gets as much mail as I do. I guarantee it. Nobody does. Okay, so, and there is a theme to today's mail. So let's start. With this one, this one is from, I don't even know where this one's from, I can't even remember, uh, Maryland. This one is from Maryland, this one comes from Heidi, and she says, uh, hey Romy, happy belated birthday, I cannot pron pronounce the name of these mountains, but there is the spelling of it, <clears throat> and I will fuck it up, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, these mountains are where the President Patrol Retreat Camp David is located in Maryland. Hope you get uh, postcards from all the states. I will be on vacation to Maine in two weeks, and we'll send you a postcard from there. Thank you, Heidi. We did not have a Maryland uh, postcard yet, and now we do. Up next, we have this beautiful one from Florida. Uh, it says, Romy, check out our beaches where they are white as sugar and very beautiful. Uh, and this is from, uh, from Destin. I think it's Destin. Oh, wait, no, Katie and Lynn. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. It's from Katie and Lynn. Sorry, it was hard to read it because I am dumb. <laughs> ah, I'm such a mess. Oh, okay, anyway, from, from uh, Katie and Lynn, it looks like, from Florida. Well, you know, it's funny. We are going to be actually visiting the beaches of Florida because the um, cruise that we're doing out of New York in November, one of the stops is in Florida, so we will be stopping there. Now, I'm just going to put this in my Florida pile for a reason. 
keep paying attention. We have this amazing one right here from Washington. <clears throat> this is an original 1959 postcard from his partner's radio station. It's even more beautiful today. Wishing you the best and can't wait to hear where and where you and Derek and land next. We'll see you on the cruise. This is Nick and James. How cool is that? A 1959 postcard. That's pretty fucking neat of a radio station. I love it. That's really cool. So thank you. So that's Washington. Okay, let's move right along. This one comes from Cindy, and this one says, On the way to find the wizard, Dorothy and her friends stop to rest while the Tin Man gets a squirt of oil. We remember that scene, right? Uh, okay, girls, hope you're having a great summer. Happy birthday to Romy. Sweet, sweet little one she is, so put the pin in the middle. Uh, miss the show and cancel series today. What a shame. Cindy, okay. So there we have that one. This one comes from Kansas, obviously. We did put the pin in the middle. Then we got one from Georgia, from Trey and Jason. Hello from Georgia. We're visiting the CNN headquarters and wanted to send you some love. And happy summer love, Trey and Jason. Love this, Georgia. And I love the little dog. So cute. Okay. We are getting close to this part where you guys are going to be like, Jesus Christ. Bear with me. There's a lot of these. We got one from, originally I thought it was New York, New York, and then I'm like, oh wait, Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, if I only paid attention. So this one is from Las Vegas, from Stacy. We have that one. Then we have another one from Arizona. You know, Arizona loves to send us postcards. So here's one from Stacy from Arizona. Then we have this one from Niagara Falls, which is actually really cool because it glitters. Norma, I know you'll love that. It's a really cool postcard. Um, this one's from Lori and Lori and Dana. So thank you. Um, then we have the beginning. Prepare yourself, bitches. Hi, Romaine. Florida versus Arizona. This is from, of course, Disney World. Hope all is well. Second from Florida. Hey, Romaine. It's an old postcard I found. Score another one for Florida. Suck it, Arizona. Three. Hi, Romaine. Arizona who? That's right. Another one from Florida. That's four. <sighs> hey, Romaine. Although Tennessee, this counts as Florida. So where are we at now? Five? <laughs> Shit. Uh, hey, Romaine. Found this angel card. Hope you like it. Larry from where? Florida. That's six. Oh, Arizona. I think you're in trouble. Um, this is another one from Lori and Dana from up there in Niagara Falls. I tell you what. I feel like I need to go visit Niagara Falls. It looks so beautiful. I need to go there. Okay. Hey, Romaine. Wish you the best. Guess what? Florida. Seven. Here's another one. It doesn't say anything other than Florida. Eight. Hi, Iris. This one's for Iris. Hi, Iris. Love when you are on the show. Take care and keep on rocking that body. And guess where this one's from? Have you figured it out yet? Florida. I don't know how many we're up to now. Nine, eight, nine, something like that. <sighs> Greetings to Walter. And I got to turn around and show you the back of this. From where? Florida. <laughs> but I'm not done, folks. Oh, gosh, no. There's so many. Hey, Romaine. Greetings from Florida. Suck it, Stanton. The Stanton's crossed out. And he replaced it with... Arizona! Suck it, Arizona! Okay. Hi, Romaine! Greeting from Florida! <laughs> oh, finally one I can get, get excited about. Other than Florida. Hi, Romeo and Romaine! Our next stop on our summer road trip was Devil's Tower, so we figured we'd send you a postcard from your home state. 
P.S. Happy birthday, Romy. This is from Brad and Kit, uh, Chris, and that is Devil's Tower, a, a monument in Wyoming I know very, very well. So finally, I can put a pin in my home state. And it's not Florida. And then I got what I thought was a very lovely card. And I opened it up. Are you ready? Florida. 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 And Florida. Now, Arizona. I have to say, after today's stack of postcards, quite literally, a giant stack of postcards from Florida, I think, Florida, I think that Arizona's in trouble. Florida has surpassed them in the most postcards sent. Good luck, Arizona. Good luck. That's all I have to say to you. All you other states... I mean, you don't even fucking stand a chance. I'm just going to say it at this point. Clearly, Florida has lost their fucking mind. And by Florida, I mean Larry in Florida. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Arizona, you're in trouble. Uh, only surpassed us in postcards, not potholes. Well, that's probably true. That's probably very true. Uh, so, yeah, so that was today. What today's What's in My Box. Uh, New York and New Jersey do need to show some love. I agree with that, Stephen. I do have one, obviously, from New Jersey, but I do not have... Well, I mean, I have Niagara Falls, but I kind of counted that as New York meets Canada. So, because, you know, really, technically, it's on both sides. So, yeah. That's how I... I just kind of put it right there on the border. Um, just got a ton of postcards today from Pennsylvania. I'll be sending... Oh, great. Pennsylvania is going to try to get in on the action of who's, who's got the most popular state. Larry is drunk mailing again. I think you're thinking of the other Larry. Um, <laughs> just kidding. You know I love you, Larry. Uh, okay, so someone earlier, I think it was Larry in Florida, who, by the way, uh, just uh, was uh, commenting. Someone earlier asked if I had heard uh, some comments that were made. Um on the air the other day and um, I hadn't heard it uh, but of course uh, you know the listeners we've always said Derek and I have always said listeners are snitchy bitches um, and listeners always tell us everything so of course you know it didn't take long for us to, to hear about it um, I mean I, and I'm not gonna say a lot about it uh, just cuz I don't it, honestly was there to say uh, but I will say this you know one of the things that Derek and I uh, have asked of our listeners and it's something that we have tried to um, take pride in is we've always tried to hold ourselves to a certain level and a certain standard of how we conduct ourselves and um, you know I'm just gonna put it back to the old golden rule my mom once told me to treat others as I would like to be treated and that's something I try to do and even when we left Sirius we you know we asked the listeners not to say bad things about other shows or anything like that because you know that's just not who we are um, and that's not really what we want our listeners to be either so you know I guess my feeling on it is it makes me sad but what can I do um, you know it is what it is that's all I'm gonna say about it <laughs> uh, someone asked if I could sue for retaliation I mean I'm sure there probably is some kind of option like that, but I honestly don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know any of that kind of stuff. So um, I'm sure that if there was something that could be done, that those options will be explored. But honestly, who cares? Honestly, who? I mean, I don't know. I, what do I know? I'm just a silly host with a goofy hat on. I mean, really. I'm a goofy hat girl. What do you want from me? By the way, this goofy hat's kind of hurting my head, so I'm going back to my fedora. Oh, see, look at that indentation it put on my head. Oh, my fedora is very cute. Um, so, yeah, so there's your, there's you guys at. That's all I'm going to say to you. I don't know what else you want from me. I, I don't want to say too much because then I'll get myself into some kind of stupid trouble that I don't need to be in. I just want to drink beer and sit by the pool. You know what I mean? 
put the past behind me. It's much more pleasant, don't you think? Isn't hearing about Florida in one of our 9 million Florida postcards better? <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, anyone have any other questions that I can answer and not get myself into some kind of stupid trouble by saying something I shouldn't or being rude or I don't know. Oh, what's my P.O. box? Yes, I can tell you that. Hold on. Let me grab my handy dandy sign. Oh, I should have it. I should have had it handier. Sorry, I apologize. I'm a little messy today, but when am I not? Where is Derek? Uh, at his house, I think, or in the city? I don't know where he's at. I'm not his babysitter. Here is the address. Romaine Patterson, 328 Green Pond Road, P.O. Box 273, Hibernia, New Jersey, 07842. There is the address. If you wanted a little clearer copy, here it is as well. 328 Green Pond Road, P.O. Box 273, Hibernia, New Jersey, 07842. Is the Matt Shepard documentary on tonight? Yes, it is. Tonight you can watch. Uh, Matthew Shepard uh, was a friend of mine, or is a friend of mine, on Logo. Uh, it's an amazing documentary. I'm in it. Not that that's why you should see it. Uh, but it is really great, and um, if you ever wanted to know what Matt was like, it's a great way to learn, because you actually get to see Matt, um, and I think that it's really sweet. It actually is very sweet. It was the first time I watched it um, was on the cruise, the last cruise, and it, you know, it was just nice, because, you know, I hadn't seen Matt in many years, and I don't know, it was kind of sweet, so, um, yeah, I think you should watch it if you have never seen it, or you want to see it. It's definitely... Um, definitely worth seeing. Uh, when is the show airing you recorded back in June? I don't know what show... Oh, you're talking about the one, um, you know, I don't know yet. They haven't told me the one I, the one I went into the city to record. Um, I don't know. I don't know when that's airing. They haven't told me. Um, so I don't know. If I find out, I'll let you know, though. But, you know, producers are always the worst. They have you come and do these things, and they're like, oh, it's going to air sometimes, and blah, 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 and then they never let you actually know when it airs. And then the next thing you know, someone's like, oh, my God, I saw you on TV today. And you're like, you did? <laughs> That's how this shit works. That's just how it is. Um, so anyway, so, yeah, so definitely tune in to Matt Shepard is a friend of mine. Um, you guys are going to love it. It'll make you cry. It'll make you uh, laugh. It's it's really, really incredible. And if you guys want, I can answer some questions tomorrow on my Periscope if you have questions about the documentary. So watch it tonight and write down any questions you have. And then tomorrow I'll do some answer questions for you guys if, if you guys would like that. I look dapper. Thank you. And you love my laugh. Oh, you're so sweet. Tell me more. I love it when I get so many wonderful compliments. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Someone said they loved my t-shirt today. This is one of my favorite Johnny Cupcakes ones. There's a Spider-Man version as well, um, that everyone seems to love. So yeah, I mean my Johnny Cupcake shirts. They're about to come out with some Back to the Future ones. I'm already on the waiting list because I cannot wait to own some of them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you look like you should sing some jazz. I love to sing jazz, actually. I bet you didn't know that about me, but I do. I love old jazz, uh, like, standards. When I was um, in high school, I um, I actually spent a lot of time um, doing classical vocal lessons, and we also did some jazz, and I love singing jazz. In fact, um, every summer, you know how, like, people go to, like, summer camp, and a lot of them are for, like, athletic things and things like that. I used to go to... Um, the mountains right outside of Cody, Wyoming, and I it, I went to the Yellowstone Jazz Camp, and we used to sing. We'd go from the moment you woke up in the morning until the moment you went to bed, you were singing jazz music, and it was fucking awesome. Oh, God, I loved it so much. Oh, I loved it so much. Um, so, yeah, that was really incredible. Oh, man. Back in the day when I used to sing all the time. That is something I want to do more of now that I have a little bit of free time and now that I can go out at night. Um, I have some local friends here who do karaoke on Thursday nights. 
and I am super stoked to go learn some new songs, practice some new stuff for when we go on the cruise. Sing for us. You want me to sing for you? You got to come on the cruise. And let me tell you, you come on the cruise and I will sing for you. Sometimes I'll sing well for you. Sometimes I'll sing badly for you, but I will sing for you. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, it is a guaranteed. Uh, Romy's going to sing for our people in the next cruise now that she's been practicing her songs every fucking moment of every fucking day. <laughs> get out the karaoke machine. It's funny. We did get the karaoke machine here at the house, and I purposely ordered some, uh, like, classic karaoke tunes, like a whole bunch of them. Um, so that I could practice some other new songs and learn some stuff before the cruise because I want to learn some new songs. Um, it's been so long since I've, like, gone out to, like, a bar to sing, uh, karaoke that it'll be nice to be able to practice and totally fuck it up here at the house while I learn some of these new tunes. <laughs> I'm a mess. Okay, bitches, well, listen, I gotta go because I have to go talk to my wife, who I'm sure is gonna unload upon me the um stressful stressful day that she has had and how sad she is about her gym and i'm gonna go be a good supportive wife because that's who i am don't i look like a good supportive wife i know i do i'm sure i do and she's gonna think i look so cute in my dapper hat either that or she's gonna tell me i'm a big fucking dork i'm not really sure which but whatever i don't care Go give her a hug. I will. Okay, so I will talk to all of you later, and I will do this again tomorrow like I always do. We'll answer questions about the Matthew Shepard documentary that's airing on Logo tonight. I don't know the time, so you're going to have to go look it up on your local listings. I'm sure your channel guides will tell you. Um, but definitely, if you don't get to watch it tonight, you should record it. It's a really good special. Um, okay, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Kisses to my bitches. Um, Sumter, I'm not playing Minecraft, but Iris is. Or not Iris, Romy is. I think that's what she's doing right now. Um, oh, 8 p.m. Central Time, someone says, is when that um, documentary is airing. So here in the very, very near future. All right. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Kisses to my bitches. Love you. Bye.